the aspect of our presentation here is that global climate change is tracking the very worst case scenario. The examination by the Climate Emergency Institute shows that using all of the latest available climate change data sets, we find that global climate change indicators are on a worst case scenario heading, are at record highs and accelerating. We have uh, looked at all of the climate change indicators, 17 of them. Of course, we can't cover all those here, but we have them listed. This well-known example that we're using highlights our mitigation conversion approach, which applies to all greenhouse gas emissions. We have to convert all world energy from fossil fuels to clean, zero carbon combustion renewable energies. And here's the example from the 2018 IPCC 1.5 degree C report, best case scenario. And it shows that there's a rapid decline in CO2 emissions from 2020 on with a 50% global CO2 emissions reduction by 2030 from 2020. Message. Today's accelerating atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations we show here right up to the present time. This is from NOAA. These are global atmospheric greenhouse gas concentrations, including global CO2. They are all clearly accelerating. Now to a uh, conclusive research paper of the worst case scenario, which is on cumulative CO2 emissions. The paper 2020. Here is the 2020 example of the record of actual cumulative CO2 emissions here in red and the projected RCP 8.5 cumulative CO2 emissions. And you see the actual is slightly above the RCP 8.5. And so the paper made the point we are on and will continue on the worst case scenario. This shows that accelerating atmospheric cumulative CO2 emissions, and it's from uh, Scripps, it's up to 2021. Next, the global average surface temperature increase up to 2020, which we use as our methodology example. On the left, we have the projection of the worst case scenario of the indicator that we're looking at. This goes up to 2100, and the increase goes up to around 5 degrees C. Then we focus down on this projection, and we put on the projection the actual recorded, observed, current level of the indicator which in this case is from NASA GISS, and they are both the same. The projection for 2020 and the NASA GISS record is 1.1 degrees C from pre-industrial. CO2 emissions comes next. We use the carbon brief uh, for the reference, and it shows here on the left fossil fuel CO2 emissions and on the right total global CO2 emissions. We're looking at the present time here, and as you can see, they're tracking towards the worst case scenario. Here's a focus down and clarified using the total CO2 emissions, and here it is at last for 2018, and tracking towards the worst case scenario being RCP 8.5 here. And here are the emissions, here's the emissions required for a 2 degree C limit from the IPCC AR5. So next to atmospheric CO2 concentration, the present data on atmospheric CO2 is from NOAA here for February of 2021, 415 ppm. Here's the projection for the worst case that we're using, and this shows the worst case scenario again in red here, up to 2100 present day focused to 2021. The projected RCP 8.5 for atmospheric CO2 415 ppm 
and again the actual atmospheric CO2 is the same, 415 ppm. So we are tracking the worst case scenario and clearly accelerating as you can see from the NOAA record. Methane emissions is next. Here we uh, rely on the Global Carbon Project, their methane budget, and here is the 2020 methane budget. So that's the basis that we're going to use for the projection of the worst case scenario, which is the new SSP scenarios, and this is 8.5, following it down here. Here's the present day focus, and I've added an insert to see that uh, the actual methane emissions are tracking the worst case scenario. Here's the worst case scenario here. A useful quote from the Global Carbon Project, all inventories except EPA infers an increase in emissions as fast as the warmest scenarios between 2005 and 2017. We've omitted the EPA outlier and we've used uh, this one here, atmospheric methane concentration, again from that same Global Carbon Project report. Atmospheric methane is tracking towards the worst case scenario. Again, a useful quote, since 2013, the atmospheric methane increase is approaching the warmest scenario of the IPCC AR5 report. You clearly see that here. Here's RCP 8.5, here's the observations. Nitrous oxide is next, nitrous oxide emissions. Again, Global Carbon Project, their recent nitrous oxide budget. And here it is here, up to 2050. Uh, this is the worst case scenario of nitrous oxide at the top here. And here is the data, the observed nitrous oxide emissions. Focus down here. And there are those nitrous oxide emissions compared to the worst case scenario. Uh, useful quote again, the recent increase in global nitrous oxide emissions exceeds the emission trends of the least optimistic scenarios of the IPCC. So we are above the worst case scenario in accelerating for nitrous oxide emissions. Nitrous oxide atmospheric concentration. Global Carbon Project again. These are the RCP scenarios, worst case RCP 8.5 here in red. And here is the observed nitrous oxide atmospheric concentration focused down to the present time here. And it can clearly be seen that nitrous oxide concentration is tracking the worst case scenario, in fact slightly above and accelerating. CO2 equivalent accounts for all the greenhouse gases along with CO2. Emissions of CO2 equivalent. We are able to use this paper here of CO2 equivalent emissions. The worst case scenario, RCP 8.5, here is in brown. It's uh, focused to the present day here. And below here we have the uh, latest data on CO2 equivalent emissions from PBL published uh, December 2020, and the 2018 global greenhouse gas CO2 equivalents was 55.6 gigatons of CO2 equivalent. So we put the this present day, this 2018 emissions, and we find that this is tracking above the worst case scenario at an actual 55.6 gigatons of CO2 equivalent, whereas the projection is 51 gigatons of CO2 equivalent. CO2 equivalent atmospheric concentration. The uh, latest record we have of that is from Casaro Commonwealth Lab. Uh, 2020 concentration, CO2 equivalent concentration was 503 ppm. For the uh, projection, we use the EPA here, and here is the worst case scenario, RCP 8.5, in this case in black. Focus down, as you see here for the present day, here's that worst case scenario. It is for 2019. 448 ppm. The actual atmospheric CO2 equivalent, as we've said, is 503, so that's above the worst case scenario and accelerating. So here I'll leave you with some suggestions of questions.